All right, so today we're looking at this paper called Why Larger Language Models Do In-Context Learning Differently, which tries to understand why bigger models like GPT-4 behave differently than smaller ones when doing in-context learning. And spoiler alert, it has to do with how they handle noise and which features they pay attention to. The main contribution here is that they provide a theoretical analysis showing that smaller models focus on the most important features, while larger models try to cover everything, which makes them more sensitive to noise. And they back this up with experiments on the LAMA model family, showing that larger models indeed get more confused when you flip labels in the prompts. They don't really have a training dataset per se since they're analyzing pre-trained models, but they use five NLP tasks from GLU and the SubJ dataset for their experiments where they test models by giving them 16 examples and then flipping various percentages of the labels to see how robust different model sizes are. Now, let's get into the meat of the paper. They analyze two theoretical settings to understand what's happening. And the first one is linear regression with a single head linear self-attention network where they add a rank constraint on the attention weight matrices to model different scales. And what they find in theorem 4.1 is that the optimal solution for a rank R model only keeps the top R eigenvectors of the token covariance matrix. This means that if you have a small model with rank R equals 5, it only pays attention to the five most important feature directions, while a larger model with rank 50 would try to capture 50 directions, including potentially noisy ones, and they formalize this in theorem 4.2 which shows that the evaluation loss has two competing terms, one that decreases with model size because you're missing features, and another that increases because you're picking up more noise. The second setting they analyze is even more complex. It's a two-layer, multi-head transformer learning sparse parity classification tasks, which is basically like learning XOR operations on hidden features. And here they measure model scale by the number of attention heads M, finding in theorem 5.1 that smaller models with fewer heads focus on learning patterns from important feature pairs, while larger models start learning patterns from less important pairs too. What's really neat is that in both settings, they can decompose what the model sees into signal and noise components. And theorem 5.2 shows that while both large and small models capture the signal equally well, the noise component affects larger models proportionally more. The experimental results really drive this home. When they test LAMA models from 3B to 70B parameters on binary classification tasks and progressively flip more labels in the prompts, the larger models consistently show steeper performance drops, and this happens for both base models and instruction-tuned versions suggesting this is a fundamental property of scale rather than a training artifact. The paper does have some limitations. They only analyze relatively simple theoretical settings and their experiments are limited to binary classification. So it's not clear if this fully explains all the weird behaviors we see in practice with models like GPT-4. But I think they make a compelling case that there's a fundamental trade-off where larger models gain the ability to use more features but become more distractible, which has important implications for how we should think about scaling and using these models in practice. 